Uh, Sinead, what do you think we're going to be hearing this week? And this goes to this idea of what are we looking through? How much is backward looking? What are we supposed to extrapolate out? Well, it's a great question. And what we're going to see this week, and we started to see a little bit of it last week, is how are companies navigating the supply chain issues? How are we seeing them move through what is a rapidly evolving economy? And so it's not just about the earnings data, but also about what messages the companies are giving us in their earnings call. And remember, we're also seeing economic data that is becoming quite choppy, strong GDP numbers, but behind that, a, a very large inventory build last week. We're starting to see some moderation in CPI, all positive, but people need to be prepared for choppy data. And as the Fed has been telling us, we need to continue to see the situation evolve. Joanne, Sinead just mentioned in, in the context of earnings, the Fed, do we even care about earnings? I mean, I don't want to say do we care about earnings, but how much do we really even care about earnings relative to the backdrop of what the Fed is doing and therefore relative to the backdrop of what may happen to multiples almost irrespective of what the actual earnings are. Yeah, Andrew, uh, clearly the Fed has dominated the headlines and it's grabbed a lot of attention. And, and we're seeing the volatility in the market reflective of those macro concerns. But I think what you saw last week right, out of Microsoft and Apple uh, goes to show uh, investors how important earnings continue to be. And in fact, in the midst of a, a period of time where we're going to see rising rates and some persistence in inflation, it's going to take a while for the Fed to get this under control. Earnings are going to be even more important because investors have now seen, right, in, in order to get exposure to uh, long term growth names, they're really going to have to pick and choose the companies that can get by uh, through the supply chain problem like Apple showed it could, right, points to companies that potentially supply to Apple, like Qualcomm, for example. So I think earnings are actually more important in a time when interest rates are rising because it's the earnings right. growth that can enable the companies to offset the negative impact of higher rates. Sinead, you look at it the rest of the year. You think we're, you think we're higher at the end of the year? Lower? Is it just a sideways slog? What, what, what's going on here? Well, look, and when we start looking at the end of the year, don't forget we've also got the midterms, which generally tend to bring with them a bit more volatility as well. But we think it's a constructive year for stocks. You just have to be prepared for volatility. And really what we've seen since the start of the year is investors reassessing what they want to own in a Fed tightening cycle. Joanne, if, if that's uh, first of all, are you in agreement with that? I know people who still think that uh, we, it may not be constructive. Ultimately, I, I mean, we'd all like it to be. Yeah, I, I think it's going to be mixed. Uh, I think they're definitely going to be. Uh, investors have already moved, right, uh, as uh, Sinead said, towards uh, stock.